It's that time of year, you know, where people say happy holidays. The time of feasting and the joy of children and families gathered. But it's also time. 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 To think about our community and give. 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 Stay tuned because education today starts now. Welcome to Education Today. I'm Christina Atherton. And I'm Brooke DeBacco of the Ford City High School in the Armstrong School District. Around Christmas time, everyone can detect the ringing of the bell and the red cans all over the area, but many people are unaware of the organizations right here in our community that support the Salvation Army. A list of local small businesses are in partnership with the Salvation Army to help make Christmas magical for those in need. Donations of toys, clothes, and books are delivered to children to bring forth the Christmas spirit. And donations of meals and decorations are given to families to make their holidays bright. Today we are joined by Lieutenant Amber Imhoff of the Salvation Army. Welcome to Education Today. Thank you for having me today. Would you please introduce yourself and describe your role within the Salvation Army? Well, I'm Lieutenant Amber Imhoff, and my husband and I are the commanding officers here at the Salvation Army in Catanning, and we have been here for three years. Uh, we run everything, pretty much, other than our volunteers. Um, we're responsible for the budget, we're responsible for church activities, as well as social service aspects. Um, we have two employees uh, to help us with all of the work that we do, but uh, our Salvation Army location runs five days a week of youth programs in addition to about $200,000 worth of social services every year in the community. What is the basic mission and purpose of this organization? The Salvation Army exists um, for the fact that we believe that our hearts go to God and our hand goes to man. Uh, we believe that we are supposed to be serving in our community and giving back to people in the community and helping them spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Why is it crucial to have this type of organization in this area? Well, there are always people who are hurting, and there are always people that uh, you wouldn't expect to hurt. You know, a lot of people think of people in need as being people who don't have jobs or who maybe are choosing not to work. But most of our families that come to us for assistance, they have minimum wage paying jobs or they've had a car that's broke down or they have a family member who has a serious medical illness. Um, and so they found themselves in need that they never expected to be in. Can you tell us how this toy drive got started and where it is going now? Uh, the Salvation Army has been doing toys uh, for over a hundred years. Um, we have been actually in Armstrong County since 1902 and uh, Toys and the Red Kettles actually started in California, as crazy as that sounds. You wouldn't think of that as being a Christmas place. Um, but there was a need in the community and people saw that um, people had empty soup pots. So the kettles actually started out as originally old soup pots that were hung up on the stands with signs that said, help us keep the pot filled. And uh, it's just, it's carried on throughout the years. Um, we have one of the largest, I believe, toy uh, collections number wise for kids in the county um, and we are bigger than a lot of of larger counties as well uh, this year we'll help out uh, close to 900 children and the number is still going up as families are still continuing to come in and sign up um, and we do all the way from birth up through seniors in high school um, and then we also do christmas food baskets for families who don't have kids as well uh, so it's a huge need it's a huge process um, the number's definitely higher than it's ever been before. Uh, comparison, last year we just did a little over 700 children. Uh, so that number is definitely rising. Wow. What do you hope to accomplish this year with the local toy drives? Um, well, we 
we're very excited. We have some new partnerships, but probably the one that's most exciting and new uh, that some of the teens from your local schools got involved with. We have a teen time group that meets on Fridays, and um, we were able to take them up and decorate a tree at Famous Footwear. And this is the first time that we've partnered with Famous Footwear to collect new shoes and boots for area children and teens. And we're actually the only location in the United States that Famous Footwear has partnered with. Uh, and so far, we've collected over 50 pairs since the shoe is, or since the shoe tree has gone up. And they don't normally decorate for Christmas, so we were able to bring out a Christmas tree and decorate and the whole works, which is a whole a whole different uh, thing. You know, you never think of. Um, small town America is being the start of something that could potentially be big nationwide in future years. What other businesses and organizations do you collaborate with on your projects during the Christmas season? Um, during the Christmas season, one of the other big ones that you'll see is uh, LA Taco the last couple years has uh, gathered up a bunch of businesses to uh, collect toys for us and it's really cool because every business that partners with LA Taco offers up a chance to be put your name in a, for a gift card if you bring in a toy so um, if you bring in a toy over to LA Taco they give you a free taco if you go up to Ben Schrader's gas station they put your name in for a drawing for a gas gift card um, Purple Pinkies does it for their salon and uh, creative hair expressions in Ford City uh, so uh, the last, this will be the second year, um, somebody won like a hundred dollar gift card to go get their hair done just because they were kind and brought a toy in. Um, but we also have 35 trees that go up around the community with tags, collecting toys. Um, the closest one I would think that most people would recognize is Dunkin Donuts, but we have a big tree up at Walmart as well. Um, and people can pick up the tags off the tree, buy for a child, and then they can give it to the customer service. They don't even have to drive it all the way back to our building. So it's a pretty cool partnership. As you know, the schools in the Armstrong School District were in competition for the most donations to the Joe Elise Toy Drive. Can you tell us a bit about this endeavor sponsored by the local Lions organization? Yes, the, the Lions Clubs have been um, collecting toys for us since the early 1990s. Um, and this year was probably the biggest of, of all the years. The room was really full. Um, it's the first year that all three schools have, well, four schools have competed because Votech participated as well this year. Um, and the Lions Club decided to reward every single Leo Club with a pizza party this year because of their efforts. Um, we were able to fill an entire minivan and uh, two other vehicles with toys to bring down to our toy room this year. And it, it's really neat because those toys that don't come in from the tag gifts are great because there's always tags that don't come back for kids and there's some tags that come back with smaller items so we can supplement because uh, we try and make it so that each child gets at least five gifts um, to put underneath their tree at Christmas time and clothing um, so that they don't necessarily know that it's been a rough Christmas for their family. How important is it to have the support from the community? It's huge. Uh, without the community, we could not do what we do. Um, in order to keep our local Salvation Army running, it costs us $417,000 a year to do what we do. And, um, and that's not just at Christmas time, you know. Um, in the summer, we have a back to school bash. We help people with heating oil and propane all through the winter season. We have about 25 different social service programs that we service the community with. And, um, you know, these are people in our community who um, you would never expect necessarily to need help. Um, the one I think of the most recently is we had a hospital caseworker call for heating oil for a family um, because the mother has cancer and the dad has had to stay home to take care of the mom. You know, has a good paying job, but when you have to take off work over and over again for an illness, you can't afford $600 to put heating oil in your house. Who are some of the leading supporters in your organization? Uh, we have a wonderful advisory board um, that's made up of business members in the community. We have a women's auxiliary as well. Um, her are huge. Uh, this year we have been extremely blessed. We have two advisory board members who one of them gave us a building um, on his property to sort the toys and then we have a group of people that will come down the day before distribution and actually move all of those toys 
um, into town to the United Methodist Church's Covenant Center where we'll distribute. Um, so we've been really blessed by that, but we're always blessed by um, different volunteer groups that come and ring the bell for us. Um, it, it's huge, you know. Uh, we probably will see over 100 volunteers during the Christmas season alone to make it happen. Awesome. That's great. Okay, thank you very much. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back with Armstrong School District's Education Today. When we return, we will talk some more with Lieutenant Amber Imhoff from the Salvation Army. You won't want to miss a thing. It's hard to explain. It just became home. There are hundreds of majors and programs, bachelor's degrees to PhDs, small classes and faculty that really get to know you. Amazing internships and everywhere, programs that help to find a job that is right for you. It's what IUP is about, a commitment to your success. See it for yourself. Visit us, Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Find your success. I'm Indiana County Sheriff Bob Fiock. We're all proud of Indiana County, but we must be worried about the negative growth of drugs and alcohol abuse. It is the responsibility of all of us, parents, teachers, and community leaders, to provide the best possible education to our youth in the prevention of drug and alcohol abuse. The law is a deterrent, but education is still our best protection. Help keep Indiana safe and drug free. For more information on how to talk to your kids about drugs and alcohol, go to the AboveTheInfluence.com, brought to you by the Armstrong Indiana Drug Free Communities Coalition. The brain is a remarkable organ. It's almost infinite in its capacity. Its ability to reach its full potential is limited by only one thing, the heart. For if the heart isn't fully engaged in what you're doing, if you have no drive, no passion, the brain will simply go through the motions. Find your success at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. We're back with Armstrong School District's Education Today. We're talking with Lieutenant Amber Imhoff from the Salvation Army about their efforts collecting toys for needy children in the community this holiday season. But first, let's take a look at how our community is working with the Salvation Army to make the season a bit brighter for others. The Season of Giving all too often we hear that phrase and think, what will we receive? This year we've decided to look at the kindness in our own community and here's what we found. I'm Tegan Trekkenhoffs and I'm joined today by Owen Zablocki from the Ford City High School Leo Club who will be speaking about the jo Joe Elise toy drive efforts right here in Ford City High School. Welcome to Education Today. Well, Can you please tell your audience about your toy drive? Well, the toy drive was originally uh, started by Joe Elise, but he has passed away. Leo Club took over, which we were told by Lions Club to continue on with this tradition of collecting toys to, to give to needy children for Christmas. What is the competition between the high schools and the Armstrong School District really about? Well, to me, it's really more about trying to bring us all together so we can uh, be more peaceful, if you would, at the new school next year. So that way we can come together and work together on it next year. I'm Tegan Schreckengoss from FCTV. Today we're at Ford City Park speaking with Walt, the owner of LA Tacos, about his efforts Hello. with the Salvation Army Toy Drive. Welcome to Education Today. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Tell us a little bit about your business. Um, so LA Taco started in 2012. Uh, it started in uh, at IUP during a business communication class where we had to start a, I guess, um, develop a real business. So there was no food trucks, there's no taco trucks. Being from Los Angeles, these things are everywhere. So that's how it came about. I started with the 4 by 8 trailer and eventually we bought this once the demand came up. And uh, from that point on, we've been we have over 15 locations right now in Sarver, Tanning, Freeport, we're, we're everywhere. Um, that's just a little bit about us. We're a little bit over two and a half years, two years. So, yeah, we're looking forward to many more years. Can you please tell our viewers about your toy drive? Oh yeah. Uh, Toys for Tacos started in 2012. 
we got the idea, you know, instead of doing Toys for Tots, when I was in the Marines, we did that, we did that program, I figured we could do Toys for Tacos. So the, the program is you bring a toy, a new unwrapped toy worth $5, and you get a free taco, any kind, or you get a discount or a burrito or a quesadilla. Uh, we, the first year we did it, we did it on our own, and we raised, I think, around uh, $700 worth of toys. The second year we did it, we teamed up with Sidebar, the Purple Pinky, which is a Port City business, Sidebar, which is in uh, Raymer Township, Bench Racers, which is in Raymer Township, and Wolf and Arrows Tattoos. Each one of them hold their own uh, drawing, I guess. When you donate a toy, you enter to win something that they're offering. Last year, I think we raised over a little bit over $2,000 worth of toys between the six of us. I forgot creative hair, creative hair and design was in there too. So uh, this year we're working with the same businesses again and the goal is to make it even be better. Every year bigger and better. Um, what permitted you to get involved in this endeavor? Um, why not? You know, I mean, uh, a lot of people in town, in Fort City and Catanning, uh, they, they like to point out the bad aspects of living here. Well, living here for the past six years, we, we've all seen that, but why not change it? Why just talk about it and do something about it? So I figured using our business and all the connections we made in our network, we can actually do something to turn around our community, hopefully bring more business into town, uh, hopefully influence more people to start businesses, and hopefully you know see a big change in the community. That's that's the main goal. Um, what makes your program unique? Uh, we give out tacos. <laughs> you know, we give out tacos and uh, working with different businesses and different, so we work in the food business. And then we have guys that are in entertainment. So Sidebar does things with music and entertainment and, you know, for adults that's something else. The uh, Bench Racers does for fuel cars. Uh, Iron Element does for tattoos. So if you're 18 and up and want a tattoo, you know, they work, they work with them. And then we have Rhonda from the Purple Peak. So we have a huge, we have a very big range of businesses and different different aspects and different, I guess, different business models. And that's what really makes it unique because we're not just, oh, hey, you know, do one talk, but this is a, a community effort in both towns. Yeah, that makes it a little different. And do you have any final remarks for our viewers? Um, just, you know, keep dreaming. You guys are the future. And I know that's very cliche to say, but it is. The changes that you guys want to see happen will not happen unless you guys decide to do them. It's not for me to do them, it's for you guys. Uh, we are the ones making things happen right now, and hopefully you know, we get enough of you guys that love your town and love your community and decide to improve it and really stay, stay here and really make something of this place. Because it is really nice. Pittsburgh's only a couple minutes away, so you can still drive there. All right, thank you for taking the time with, to see us. Thank you for having me. Uh, reporting for Education Today, I'm Tegan Trucking Goss. If there's one thing we've learned this holiday season, it's to give. Not just to our loved ones, but to all. Even if all we have to give is a smile and wishes for a happy holiday season. We're back with Lieutenant Amber from the Salvation Army. What important lessons or attributes does one take with them when they donate organizations such as yours? Um, I think probably the biggest lesson that people learn is that they could be the one in need one day. Uh, and really the Christmas season isn't about everybody receiving or even all of these kids getting presents. Um, but blessing other people is a, is a huge thing. Uh, tonight I will have a group of 16 Cub Scouts that'll come to the toy room to help sort and it'll be their first time and uh, you know when they when they walk into the toy room their eyes will be aglow at seeing all the toys uh, but it'll put a reality check that uh, they have lots of gifts and stuff that'll go underneath their trees but some of their friends may not uh, two years ago when we we first got here probably one of the most heartbreaking things that we had was we had a a mom call from one of the Ford City Elementary Schools and uh, she said there's a little boy in my son's class who said Santa is not coming to his house this year and we just want to know if you can help this family. Their house is burnt down, we know they're in a hotel and um, those kind of cases are what makes it all worth it because you know that they'll never forget that Christmas that somebody showed up and helped them. And uh, showing up at the hotel room with a bundle of gifts for, for kids who 
um, just don't even know when their house is going to be rebuilt. It's, it's huge, you know. Um, it, for us as, as a family, um, it's changed how we do Christmas, even ourselves. Um, our family hasn't done Christmas presents for each other in seven years. Uh, we always adopt a family for Christmas, and we just spend time together as a family instead um, because it just puts everything into perspective. That it, It's not about the big crowds. It's not about getting frustrated about the bad traffic, uh, but it's really about coming together and loving one another. What other events does the Salvation Army participate in throughout the year? Uh, we have a large back-to-school bash in August that gets about 2,000 people out at Ford City Park. Um, we do Christ Dock down at Riverfront Park, which is another huge event. Uh, we have a mission literacy team that goes to every area library and helps out with the summer reading programs. We're getting ready on December 19th. We're going to have a Christmas party at the Worthington Library for families. Uh, we have a Polar Express pajama party coming up at our building on the 23rd after uh, distribution. We run five days a week worth of youth programs, everything from uh, life skill classes for teenagers to we have an archery club that meets in our building. Um, so we do a little bit of everything. We have a women's group. Uh, we have an emergency food pantry, rental assistance. Uh, we help people with car seats even. So uh, you name it, we probably have tried it at one point or another. Is there anything specific that you'd like the community to donate this winter? Uh, the biggest need probably for, for Christmas is we have a lot of families that um, their kids need comforters and blankets and socks and shoes. Um, obviously they want toys, but there's always a need list of things that they need, and those are huge things. Um, we're looking for, for a twin size bed for one little boy in particular uh, still this year. but. Uh, if they can stop by at one of the trees, pick up a tag and help someone out, or even just drop some change in a kettle or call our office and volunteer to ring the bell, we still have open spots uh, for ringing. And so that, that's something anybody can do. Okay, thank you very much. We're going to take one last short break and we'll be right back with Armstrong School District's education today. Success, we see it every day. Hundreds of majors and programs, bachelor's degrees to PhDs, small classes, internationally known faculty who are committed to your success. Real world experiences to guide you on your career and life path, an alumni network 120,000 strong. I'm IUP President Mike Driscoll. Visit us. Find your success at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. All your professors, all of them, they know that all it takes is one dreamer with passion, one person, and they hope in each of you that you might be that one who makes a longer lasting light bulb, who writes music for the ages, who reaches into the mind and discovers a new star and who can change the world of a fifth grader. We're gathered here to hope in you. We're back with Armstrong School District's Education Today. We're talking with Lieutenant Amber from the Salvation Army. I'm sure that goals change from year to year. What goals do you have for the organization this year? Uh, well, we are hoping to hire a family outreach coordinator to help out with some of our programming in this next year. Um, we're also looking to uh, do some construction on our building. Our building was built in 1964, so it does need some work. In the 60s, nobody thought about getting older and uh, needing handicap access, so uh, people will see the front end of our building is going to be ripped off in the next year and a ramp added. We're going to renovate all the bathrooms and add an additional bathroom. Uh, so that that's pretty huge. Um, and we hope, uh, this past year we sent 65 kids to overnight camp. For, we're hoping to send over 100 kids to camp this summer. Uh, we've never sent that many. Uh, every year it's gone up a little bit, but uh, we have open spots, so we're hoping to send more kids to camp this summer. I understand that there are a variety of different ways that you can be contacted to find out everything that one needs to know. What are some ways that you can be contacted? Our Facebook is huge. Um, if you jump on Facebook and you go to Katanning Salvation Army, we post about every event. Um, we also post about our social services, volunteer opportunities. Uh, we also post if people are looking for jobs, what area jobs or places are hiring currently. 
Uh, so that that's a huge way to get a hold of us. People can call our office at 724-543-6622. They can stop in our office. Uh, we're open Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., Fridays by appointment. But most evenings, we're still there, even if, if the office is closed, because we, we run programs till 7 or 8 o'clock at night, usually. Is there anything else you'd like to add for the benefit of our viewers? Um, viewers who are watching, another need that you could participate in is if, you know, it's starting to get cold and uh, you've put your coats on and you realize some of them aren't the style you want or they don't fit anymore. Uh, we're always looking for coat donations in the winter time and uh, we stock our clothing room for coats throughout the year. Um, and we've already gone through over 400 this season. So uh, that's always a huge need. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks once again to Lieutenant Amber Imhoff from the Salvation Army for taking time out of her busy schedule to talk with us about their projects this season. Our thanks goes out to the TV production students at Ford City High School, led by their teacher, Mrs. Katherine Gibbon. They were our film crew today. Please join us again next week for another look at the Armstrong School District. Visit our website for updated information about the district and have a great week.